In this video, we'll take a look at three cool effects you can do in Final Cut Pro using the built-in masking tools. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, just wanted to remind you, if you find tutorials like this helpful after watching this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It means a lot to me and this channel. Now let's jump into Final Cut Pro and get started. The first effect we'll take a look at today is highlighting parts of your video. And this is actually really simple to do. Select the clip in your timeline, hold down the option key and drag up to make a copy of it. Press Command 5 to open the effects browser, select the masks category and drag and drop the shape mask over your top clip. Position the mask over your subject and adjust the shape, size and the feather of your mask. To see exactly what's going on, select your bottom clip and press V to disable it. If the subject you're highlighting moves through your clip over in the inspector, add a keyframe to the transform parameters. Go through your clip and manually track the mask to follow the movement of your subject. Select your bottom clip and press V to re-enable it. With your bottom clip still selected, press Command 6 to open the color inspector. What we want to do here is darken our background to make the part of the clip selected with our mask stand out. Make sure the exposure tab is selected, grab the global exposure puck and drag it down to darken your clip. This gives this cool spotlight effect highlighting the subject in your video clip. You can also keyframe the color correction to make this effect fade in and out. The next effect we'll take a look at today is making a cinemagraph. What this is, is basically a still image with a minor repeated movement in it. Done properly, these can look amazing. For our next clip, let's freeze the crowd while keeping the water fountain flowing. Place your playhead over the frame in the video you want to freeze and press Shift F to reveal that frame in the media browser. Press Option F to add a freeze frame as a connected clip. Ripple trim this freeze frame so it's the same length as your clip. Next, from the effects browser, grab the draw mask effect and drag and drop it over the freeze frame clip. In the viewer, add control points to isolate the crowd from the fountain. Click on the first control point to close your mask. Play back your clip and adjust the feather slider to soften any hard edges. In this example, we still have movement in this area where it should be frozen. Hold down the option key and drag up on your top clip to make another copy of it. In the inspector, select the draw mask effect and press delete to remove it. Apply another draw mask effect to the stop clip and in the viewer, add control points to mask off the area you need to freeze. Skim through your clip and adjust the feather slider if necessary. You can now either export the cinemagraph as a GIF and set it for loop playback or as a video file. If you export it as a video file but need to play it longer, select all three clips and press Command C to copy and Command V to paste them. Do this as many times as needed to get the duration you want. And if there's a noticeable jump between the clips, you can add a cross dissolve to smooth it out. The last effect we'll take a look at today is the very popular object wipe transition. For this, you'll need a video clip where you have an object or a person move across your entire frame, like this gentleman wearing red pants. Move your playhead to a frame where you just start to see the backside of your subject and go back one frame. Add a draw mouse to your clip. In the viewer, add a bunch of control points to the side your subject is coming from and close your mask on the opposite side. Your entire clip should be visible at this point. In the inspector, add a keyframe to your control points. Go through your clip one frame at a time and adjust your control points to follow the backside of your subject until all the control points are off screen on the opposite side. Select the clip you want to transition to in the media browser and drag it, drop it down into your timeline under your original clip. Skim through your clip and if needed, adjust the feather in your mouse to soften the edges. Render your timeline and you have this cool custom transition between your clips. And now that you know how to do it, I bet you start noticing this in your favorite movies and TV shows. 
it actually gets used quite a bit. So this was just three examples of what you can do with masking tools in Final Cut Pro or any other NLE. But there's so much more. Play around and see what cool effect you can come up with. And if you want to see more cool masking effects, I'll link an entire playlist in the video description. Go check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back here next week. Thank <laughs> you.